came as a birthday gift to my daughter and um, of course I didn't realize the responsibilities that would come with him. Uh, he became my sole baby. He has certain times of the day where he wants to be naughty but of course we allow him that. It's okay. All three are allowed to be naughty when they want to. It's okay. It's a part of their journey. One thing I learned from all three of them is patience. Motherhood is a beautiful journey and everyone who hasn't been down that road is really missing something in their lives. It's so cute one day I heard my daughter tell this poor baby, do you know I'm her real child, she's not your real mother, you've been adopted. And I said, what are you telling the poor dog? <laughs> He tells you exactly what he wants. One day he called my brother to my room, pointed his snout at the AC and he looked at him expectantly and uh, started wagging his tail. So he wanted the AC on. <laughs> at some point, people give priority to human babies over dog babies. I don't think it is correct because they both need equal amount of love, equal amount of attention and care. I don't know where this uh, myth has come from that babies and dogs should not uh, be raised together. I think the, um, the amount that uh, the kids learn, uh, the amount of empathy they learn from babies and it's, I mean at the end of the day this is their first, this is her first best friend. So I, and the fact that she's had her from birth is something which is very uh, fortunate and very uh, I think lucky and I wish I had grown up with a dog. I know a lot of people are very um, conscious of uh, you know the germs etc but I think that really adds to their immunity rather than uh, you know uh, taking away from it. I remember someone telling me this once that you know a dog has left his own family to come and give love to us and I think that's a really huge sacrifice and I feel very fortunate to be at the receiving end of such unconditional love and for my own daughter to also receive such love. Mm -hmm.